New York Nets going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. John Shambi alongside Chris Singleton. Well, Singy, when you consider the most gorgeous ballparks in the sport, this one right here, PNC and Pittsburgh, one of the best in the game. And from where we sit, just a gorgeous view of downtown. You've got the bridges, the Allegheny River. In fact, we've seen some hitters hit the ball into that river, and perhaps we'll see that today. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And today's starter, Mitch Keller. What do we have on him? Great sinker. Although it's not his primary pitch, it's really a pitch that he can go to. Misses the barrel of the bat, gets ground balls, and lets the defense work behind him. Here's Brandon Nimmo. The wind of the pitch. Inside corner for a strike. And that's how this game gets started. Next offering is in for a strike. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Pitch misses there. Now one and two. He's dealing with a great two-strike hitter right here. The strikeout is not automatic. Wouldn't chase that time. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Right-hander kicks, deals. Headed towards the corner. Reynolds trying to get there. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. Here's a Mets lineup now. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but... They've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent. And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Way upstairs, and it's one to no. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Oh, and he hit him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. He has, as they like to say... Let me guess, Boog. Light tower power? That's right. Oh, he doesn't get the call. 1-0. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. That was blasted to the moon. It's 2 nothing. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. So two away with nobody on. Here's Starling Marte. That clips the corner. The pitch. 
to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Mets had two runs on this blast. And it's two zip. Back after this on the show. Back here in Pittsburgh. And on the mound today, a guy who will give them innings, Jose Quintana. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. Bottom of the first, and the batter will be the shortstop, O'Neill Cruz. The pitch. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. Well, don't expect too many more high fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look for him to stay down around the knees to be effective. That's outside, and a count is three and one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Outside, and that is ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Now snap throw to first. Back in there standing. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Brian Reynolds here. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Kicks and deals. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. One one. Nobody out. Runner at first. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Now batting key Brian Hayes. That smash towards center. Makes the grab. Runner tags at second. And he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. Let's take a look at our lineup. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. B-I-D, ball in dirt. Runners are at the corners, one away. On a line. Dives and he can't hang on. In to score from third. And it's a one run game. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. First pitch, not close. 
The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Two on, one out. Just missed. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. And now the lefty. That one misses. And that's ball three. Henry Davis up next. See if he gives him anything to hit here. And he walked him. Well, this came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. At the play, Henry Davis. Late on that fastball. Here comes a pitch. And it's just foul. That was close. And that's downstairs and outside. They tried to get him to go, chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Fights that one away, still one and two. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's two down. No, that's a frustrating at bat right there. Big opportunity and just missed it. I know he wanted to do some damage. Next guy will have to pick him up. And now it's Rowdy Telez. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. That's a strike, and it's 0-1. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count, as he did right there. Two outs. And that one fouled off. Oh, and two now. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Back here at PNC Park. Now it's DJ Stewart. DJ Stewart. Keller back to work. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Keller, an all star a season ago, 28 years old, and he was a second round pick back in 2014. Got it by him for the K. Francisco Alvarez, the next to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One out, base is empty. A little out front there as he swings through it. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. On the ground to third. Two up, two down at the top of the second. 
batting eight. The third base Brett. Two outs, base is empty. So up next for New York, Brett Beatty. That one catches the zone. 0 and 1. Swing and a pop up. Settles under this one. Squeezes it. And that is that. Down in order go the Mets. They lead it 2 1. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning at the plate for Pittsburgh, Michael A. Taylor. The wind of the pitch. That one off the mark, and that's ball one. And another ball. Outside, and that's ball three. Well, I would expect in this 3 0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Leover Paguero next to bat for the box. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Oh. And fouled off. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. The pitch. Hard hit, right side. And quickly won away in the second. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Leover Paguero, the next pirate to hit. Gets the outside corner with that one. The Mets up by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. And this one could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And now the tying run is into scoring position. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. So the Pirates batting order turns over. O'Neill Cruz digs in now. In there and it's 0-1. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Swings and misses. And that's strike two. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. The shortstop takes the ball. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. Headed for the plate. He'll score, and the Pirates tie the game. It's 2-2. Two -two. Well, that was an important at-bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Just kept it simple, played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. One down, runner at first. Brian Reynolds, the next Pirate to hit. And takes low for ball one. And here it comes. And that one missing low. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, 
You're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Swing and a drive, deep right field. That one carrying, can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Lead runner holds at third, so two runners in scoring position, and just one out. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And now, Key Brian Hayes. First pitch misses. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Two on, one out. In the dirt. Wow, that's a great job behind the dish there. And that's in for a strike. Strike three, got him swinging. Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Line drive, could be extra bases. One runs in, another comes in to score. It's 4-2. Safely into second, he's got a double. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. So, runner at second, two down. So, next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. That one's in there, and that is strike one. Man on second, two down. Lifted in the air, right center field. Sizing this one up. Makes the catch. And that ends the inning. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two-run double. It's now 4-2. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. On to the third inning, and now Bader up to the plate. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. On the ground, right side, and it's through for a hit. So now back to the top of the order. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Here's the Mets leadoff man, Brandon Nimmo. And that's in for a strike. With the tying run at the plate, we're here in the top half of inning number three. Right through there for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Checks over to first, back safely. Tying run at the plate, and there's a ball. And a one-two. 
Fouls it back with two strikes. And the righty deals. And a swing and a miss. And one away in the top of the third. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And, you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. And now here's Jeff McNeil. And that one fouled off. At the belt and fires. Slings to second. On to Les, and the double play ends the inning. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. As we go to the last of the third, and here's the catcher, Henry Davis. The wind and the pitch. Base knock center field. Could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's there with a leadoff double. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So a man aboard, and here's the first baseman, Rowdy Telez. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. In there for strike one. You know, these Pirates do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. Pitch count is pretty high, and they've played it four runs already, so I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. That one misses, and the count even one and one. So they forced the starter to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to get to him for some runs, and hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. And it is two and one. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And that one hops the wall. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score easily, and they're up by three. Big at bat to pad their lead up to three. Pitch was in and off the plate. So hard to do anything with the pitch in that location, but somehow he got the barrel to it and hit it well. Pretty amazing. Michael A. Taylor now at the plate. Grounded out his first time. And that's in there for strike one. And a pitch. And that just misses. It's a good take. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Marte moving under this one. And out number one on the grab. Leover Peguero, the next pirate to hit. One for one with a double and a run score. Hammers that one, curling down the line and foul. Missed inside with the curb. Oh. 
kicks and fires. Line drive caught. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. So the batting order turns over. Now it's the shortstop, O'Neill Cruz. Foul ball. Telez off of first with two away. And a good eye there. Left hand hitter waits. Ground ball to the right side. And that's just foul. Two outs. And a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. A couple of hits in a row for him here. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Digging in, Brian Reynolds. Fought off foul. First and second, two down. Just a slow ground ball this time. Lindor, now the throw to first on the run. Inning over, and it could have been worse. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's 5-2. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And we're back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Francisco Lindor. And the pitch. That one clips the outside corner. Strike one. The shortstop takes the ball. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Here's a 1-1. Fouled off. He was late. One two now. And another ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. 3-2 now. The punch out there. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Here's Pete Alonso. He's already homered in this game. First pitch, and he just misses. Breaking ball through there for a strike. The Pirates leading by three. Top half of inning number four. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. Got him. Outside pitch got the better of him that time. Two outs, base is empty. Starling Marte up to him. Grounded out his first time up. In the air, right field. Sawinski makes the play, and it's out number three. Back here in Pittsburgh, bottom four, now the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. As the lefty gets to work, 
And that one clips the corner. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. Nimmo makes the catch for the out. And there's one away. Now that, the designated hitter, Andrew. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. Oh, High fly ball down the left field line. Back there. And that ball is gone. That one felt good. And they had a run. It's 6-2. First pitch hacking, and it paid off for him in a big way. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Jack Sawinski getting ready to hit. He's 0 for 1. Edge of the zone for a strike. It's 0 and 1. One down, base is empty. That one finds the corner, and the count is 0-2. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. One out, base is empty, and a run in. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Foul ball still 0 and 2. And he deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 0 2. And yeah, they'll do it again. The pitch. Swing and it's popped straight up. And makes the grab. Two down. Up next to the Myers. The catcher, Henry Davis. Next to hit, Henry Davis. One for two. Ball Just inside. off the inside edge. Swing and a foul pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. Two out spaces empty. To third. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Here's Rowdy Telez. Lifted to left center, way back there, and that is gone. So he goes the opposite way with that one. It's their second home run of the inning, and they tack on to their lead. It's 8-2. They wasted no time in that at bat, swinging at the first pitch, and he punished it.
looks like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run, to the slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. And here comes the Mets manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Jose Quintana done for the afternoon. And this is one he'd like to forget. Back with a new arm after this. On the mound now, Drew Smith. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Now the batter now, Michael A. Taylor. Ball up and one. in, and that is ball one. Left field, way back there. That one is back. Makes the catch up against the wall. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. And this is now an 8-2 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Carmen Majinski. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. And now the DH, DJ Stewart. His first at bat was a strikeout. The pitch. 6 2 righty. He features a four seam fastball, a slurve, a changeup, and occasionally uses a cutter. Next offering is downstairs. Well struck right field. See you later. And they cut into the deficit. It's 8 3. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Now at the plate, Francisco Alvarez. He swings and fouls one off. Righty to the plate. Inside, oh, just missed. Bullpen action for the Pirates. Ryan Barucki loosening up in case he's called upon by Derek Shelton. Hernandez warming up as well. Oh, and now two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Stays alive. Nobody on, nobody out. And we're at the top of the fifth. Good eye right there. Recognize that change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Headed down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. And he handles it himself for the out. 
Here's the third baseman, Brett Beatty. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And another ball. And that is cut on and missed. And it's two and one. Way out front for strike two. Looking for the K. So last chance for the Mets. Harrison Bader up now for the Mets. And he's already singled in this game. That's in there. And it's 0-1. Just missed. Two down, nobody on. Swing it a foul straight back. Majinski is just one strike away. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. I don't care if you're a top team or you're a middle of the pack team. Every ball club wants to be dominant at home. Winning a game like this just helps to boost the confidence and makes you look forward to coming out again for the next one. 8 3 the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.